my YouTube family. We are going to stuff our cash envelopes for for June paycheck one. So let's see. Our income was about my calculator. Okay. We'll just do it this way then. Actual. The actual was 2016. Yep. We didn't make anything extra. So, which is fine. That usually happens most of the time in the uh, first of the month that we usually come right on right on target with uh, what we budgeted for. So, the only couple of changes we have is my husband wanted me to keep the um, $100 that we take out for gas. He wanted me to keep that in the bank so he can use the debit card to get gas when he needs it. So, all the cash envelopes stay the same, and I didn't make out a, um, a thing for the sinking funds because we're doing the beginner series, so that will be done in a separate video when we, when we stuff our sinking funds. So, let's see what we have. We'll take out for our sinking funds, and then we'll see if we have any money going towards or back into our emergency fund, and we're still trying to get the cameras and trying to get somebody to install them and everything. So hopefully we can have that done by the end of this month because you have to make an appointment and then of course they give you an appointment for a couple of weeks after, you know, after the time. So we're hoping that we can get the, the outside cameras and everything in by the end of this month. So we're still going to just sock money away in our emergency fund. And then once, you know, the cameras and stuff are in place and how much it's going to cost for installation and how much it's going to be to monitor for them to monitor it each month, um, then we'll just take that money right off the top for the cameras, the installation, and however they want us to pay it monthly. And we will worry about that and put money back into our emergency fund, excuse me our money back into the emergency fund. So whatever we have extra in there, we'll pull that out and then we'll just take the rest from the emergency fund if we need to. So we'll see if we have any money left over for, um, for emergency fund. So all this money stayed, stayed in the bank. We upped the pet fund to a hundred dollars because the mama cat, she just had her kittens. We thought maybe we'd have another, another week or two, but she had her kittens about three days ago, about three days ago, and then we had the other one we call Halo. She had her kittens about three weeks ago, so there's going to be more kittens to feed in the next, I'm going to say in the next month to six weeks. So I want to make sure that I have enough money in there for them so we can, you know, take care of what needs to be taken care of for the kittens. So... With that said, we are going to stuff our cash envelopes and I'm going to take money out to put towards our savings challenges. So, let's put this off to the side. And the gas money is staying in the bank because my husband wanted me to leave it there. So, we're not putting anything in that. First, let's count our money so we can see what we're working with. We got 150 70 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, $185. And I might have to break those um, 20s down so and see what we have there. Okay. Household always gets $10. So we're going to put $10 in there. And I can see I'm going to have to break down. Let's see if I have it. I don't know if I do. Um, I don't know if 
if I have the breakdown. I don't think so. I'm trying to break down the 20. And well, I got a lot of 50s for sure. So, um, here we go. Alrighty. So, we have the 10. I'm going to take this 20, put that in there. And we have the 10, and we have two fives. Alrighty. Let's start with that. Okay, personal care is getting $10. $10 in there. Hubby is getting 20 and I'm going to have to break down more money. I should have done this before beforehand and I didn't. Hubby's getting 20. Let me fix this here. Okay. All right. And I'm getting 20. I'm going to put 20 in there. And I see I'm going to have to break down another 50 because we have to put $35. We have 5, 10, 50, 20. have to break down um, another 50 because we have to put $35 in for our savings challenges. So let me see if I can break down another 50. Yep. There we go. Put the 50 in there. Alrighty. I definitely got to get and do a bill exchange. Yeah. Alrighty, we got 20, there we go, now I got to do $35 because that's got to go in for our savings challenges, so we got 20, 30, 5, that's going to go into our savings challenges, and then we have 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. We have $90 that's going to go towards our sinking funds and put some money back into our emergency fund. But I do that in a separate video because I'm doing a beginner series for the sinking funds. So I will, um, I will wait and that will be done in a separate video where we stuff our sinking funds and see if we have any money going towards um, our emergency fund. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I was a little bit all over the place. I should have had the money broken up and I did it. I apologize for that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the YouTube family. If you go out, please stay safe and always remember to believe in yourself. Take care everyone. Bye.